Cheers and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoyed that little film noir intro I did for you guys. But without further ado, here is the tutorial. I'm starting out with Algenis Luminizing Drops in Pearl. I'm going to put that all over my face, over my moisturizer, just to give me a little bit of glow. I am using these Real Technique Berlin brushes for the very first time and I've got to say they are really great quality brushes. I'm using the buffing brush to buff in my Locket Foundation by Kat Von D. And I am trying to get a really matte, full coverage finish. Next I will be color correcting and concealing under my eyes using the Aqua Sealer from Tarte and Algenis Apricot Color Correcting Drops. Um, as you can see, I just used the color correcting drops and it already really helps quite significantly in covering those dark circles I have under my eyes. But just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and put concealer as well. I love using Sigma's 3D HD Kabuki brush to uh, buff in that concealer. It does a really good job of getting into those fine lines and making everything look even. Same brush is going to be used with my Ofra banana powder to set everything under my eyes. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques buffing brush and buffing in some By Terry Hyaluronic powder. And then moving on to brows, I am using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown to fill in those empty spots in my brow. Um, I am using some short strokes in the more center of my brow and then longer strokes, strokes excuse me, at the tail end just to get the tail end of my brow a little darker than the front. Um, I am just shaping my brow as I go along, um, adding some volume to the front of my brow because it's pretty bald up there. Now for eyeshadow, I want to keep it natural, and by natural I mean um, for black and white. So I'm going to define the crease with Melt Cosmetics Unseen, and I'm using the crease brush from the Real Techniques Berlin set. Contouring is extremely important when you are filming in black and white, because otherwise you're going to look completely flat. So you really want to define all of those areas in your face. Next I'm taking blur from that same melt stack and adding it to the lid. I'm now going to take harsh stone white from the gunmetal stack and add it to the inner corners of my lids with just my finger. And again this is to bring attention to the center opening of my eye in a black and white film. I'm also going to add a little bit of that on my nose or maybe too much. There we go. Charlotte Tilbury's Rock and Coal Pencil really surprised me. It is um, very pigmented. So basically what I'm doing here is I lined the liner. It didn't have to be perfect because I am buffing it all in. I'm taking it into the bottom area of my lash. Again, not really worried about it being too perfect because we're going to buff it and then we're also going to use dark matter eyeshadow from Melt and go right over it. So I am creating a very smoky, very sultry look um, because that was basically the look in film noir movies. Threw on some Lena lashes and on to contouring we go. Makeup Geek has some of the best contouring powders and blushes and eyeshadows, I mean, let's be real, they are just amazing. I'm using Infidelity here to carve out my cheekbones. And then I will also be carving out my jaw area, under my lip, my nose, my forehead, my neck, just everywhere, every little crevice that I have, I will be contouring. Um, you can tell in the black and white portion of the intro how chiseled my face looks because of this and that's the whole idea behind contouring your face. Um, in my opinion it's not an everyday thing, at least not this intense, even 
here I'm not doing it as dark as I've seen others do it. It's my personal preference. I'm not saying it's wrong or right. I'm just saying this is what I prefer. One thing I do always contour is right under my lip. It makes the lip appear a little bit more pouty and a little bigger, I suppose. Oh, looks like I overdid it on that side, so I am just blending that out a little bit more. Next, I'm taking Infatuation Blush, also by Makeup Geek, and adding just a tiny, tiny bit. Since we are doing a black and white mini film, I don't want to add too much because then it's just going to look like the contour. The Lemonade Palette by Lena's Lashes is seriously amazing. I am going to overdo it with the highlight again because it looks good on film, black and white film specifically. I'm adding it to the top of my cheekbones, right under that contour, more on my nose, some on my chin, some on my forehead. Last step was obviously the lipstick and where I got real extra. I turned down the lights for some extra shadows and filmed. A special shout out goes out to my friend Yazi of Hello Gorge Boutique. Thank you so much for the special necklace. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.